So I finally learned how to do some TIG welding and my uncle owned a stainless steel job shop, fabrication shop and he basically did a lot for the food industry around where he lived but he since sold that but he still had a few things from that shop and he had some welders. He let me come down and he took the time to teach me how to weld and he ended up giving me this sweet welder. But I'm thankful that my uncle let me come down and take the time out of his day to teach me all that. and. Give me one of his old welders, so thank you for that. And now we start to finish up the parts for the DIY belt grinder. Now this should be all the parts here in this video and we should be good to go after this. Get everything machined and we will start assembling things. Here's some of the wheels that I got from the guy on eBay that I think I showed in the last video. But I bought these wheels and they, they sent them over to me and they look good. And they have that little spherical dome, whatever you want to call it, around them to just sort of keep the belt on and, and keep it centered as far as I know. So we're finally getting this thing all put back together and I did have a few changes here. One was I didn't account for, I left these spacers, these middle spacers, the stock thickness basically and I didn't account for they were like maybe each of them were five thousandths oversized. So this wouldn't fit in here, big piece here. I had to mill that down just a little bit and it fit perfectly fine. Also, while I'm thinking about it, IMTS is coming up in a few weeks, I think. And I'll be there just sort of looking around at stuff, doing some dreaming, you know. And if you happen to see me, then stop me and say hi. Got her all assembled here for the most part. Now we're just waiting on the platform, basically. And that will be in next video. I'll, I'll plasma cut that out. I think I'll get either quarter inch or three eighths plate and cut it out on the plasma table. And the one thing I made different, and I updated it in the model as well, is add this sort of hinge-like thing here. It's just a quarter 20 bolt, and there's a long enough shoulder on it that it's not going to rub as it hinges here. And that's just to track this thing, so if this is out of alignment, I can, I can move this bolt here, pushing this out, just to get the belt from not falling off, basically. But I think that's it for now, so thanks for watching.